Get ready to blow your mouth off. It's time to make blood chung the territory way. Making some uh, blood chung, a, a Darwin dish, but I call it uh, mark chung, uh, hence the name. 600 local chilies are first in the blender with ginger and garlic. Then added into a simmering pot filled with onions and oil. Organs from magpie geese are diced and thrown in before shrimp paste transforms the flavour and the smell. This is where the flies will gather around, everybody clears the house, there's no one here except you alone in, in the kitchen. Larrakia man Mark Motlop has been making blood chung all his life and says it's become part of the Darwin experience. If we have a barbecue, the blood chung is always on the table. If you go to a wedding in Darwin, there'll be blood chung there. <laughs> Someone will sneak it in. Blood Chung's history in Australia dates back to the 18th century, when the Makassan seafarers from Indonesia sailed here and traded with Aboriginal people along the Arnhem coast for hundreds of years. While I'm cooking, I think about the Makassans, their travels, how it got to TI, how it got to the tip of North Queensland, how it got to Darwin, how it got to Broome, even how it's gotten down to Alice Springs now. This one here is nearly ready. Nurania Majid learnt how to make sambal by her mother back home in Indonesia. When she opened her first restaurant in Darwin 20 years ago, she couldn't believe locals had an appetite for it. And then I asked my husband, how come I really didn't know about blood And then my husband explained to me, oh, OK. Her mix is fried instead of boiled. But when it comes to the taste test, it still packs a punch. Mmm, it's delicious. Ooh. You could really taste the chilies, that's for sure. Getting your hands on a complete recipe is also tricky. Mark Motlop has his back turned to the camera as he adds his secret ingredient at the very end. Good chef never gives away his full recipe, so that's the one thing that I don't let you know that I put in. And there are some rules too. Always cook it with a wooden spoon, eat it with a clean one, and never ask for the recipe. It is a bit of rivalry. You, oh, he makes it better than you, or I make it better than you. <laughs> Competition for an ancient recipe burning hot centuries on. Eleni Roussos, ABC News.